And, and how long have you been out of acting? Oh, just for nine months while I was pregnant. Yeah, yeah. And what projects have you worked on as an actor before you um, gave birth? Oh, I, I did a bunch of television shows um, in uh, New York, where I'm from. I did Gossip Girl and Rescue Me. Yeah. Um, and out here in L.A., I've done a lot of um, feature films. So. And out of all those projects, which one was your most memorable and or favorite one? I would have to say Rescue Me because it was just a really fun set. Everybody was really cool. And, um, yeah, it was just a really good time. Are you a drama or a comedy person? I, I like to do both, you know, but there's nothing like having a really juicy, meaty role. So I, I prefer drama. And who would you like to be opposite you in that juicy, meaty role? Oh, gosh. What guy? Guy or girl? Guy or girl. Well, actually, okay, I have to tell you right now, the hottest actress, I think, is Greta Gerwig. She's a really great actress, so I would love to play opposite her, as well as Meryl Streep, of course. Meryl Streep, one of my faves as well. Thank you for talking with us Thank tonight. So Continue to enjoy your evening. Thank you. All righty. Jerry O'Jay, and I hear that you are a designer. Fashion Tell us, designer. fashion designer. Tell us about your um, line. Oh, I do uh, several women's wear, and I have my own boutique on Sixth Street. Yeah, uh, Sixth then between uh, Vermont and Westmoreland. Okay. What is the name of your store? Easy Language. Okay. And tell us about your design. Contemporary. Contemporary. Yes. Is that your favorite? Yes, it is. <laughs> and. And would you say that you, your, your, your clothing line is fit for every kind of woman? Well, I do, I do a couple of lines. I have the Afri Chic, which is mostly a combination of Western and Afri, you know, African. That one is very, uh, it's a very good line. It's called Afri Chic Designs. And then I have Easy Language, which is uh, more a mix of everything Western, you know. And how long have you been designing? Don't ask. <laughs> If I say 30 years, it would be too much. <laughs> yeah. And you would say it's definitely your passion? Yes, it's all I do, yes. And what would you tell any young kids out there who might be interested in becoming designers as well? Just go for it. Yeah, just go for it. And there's no designing. The, with fashion, there's no individual style, you know, and there's no judging. You can do anything, and there must be somebody there who would like it. Yeah. And for those that don't know, please tell us the difference between being a designer and a merchandiser. The difference? I think you're born a designer, merchandise, and you will learn how to do that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for speaking with us tonight, and good luck and congratulations. Some people say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I say makeup is a girl's best friend, right? Exactly. I probably uh, have all my investments in makeup. Definitely not diamonds. So tell us about your experience on CSI. How was that? Um, it was fantastic. I uh, played a goddess. Um, her name was Lust, so normally I play young because I look so young. Um, so that was really exciting, and it's premiering September 25th. Okay. Yeah, um, it was just a brand new experience. Um, but what I'm really excited about is uh, I'm a big anti-bullying activist, so I'm going to New York um, to do a press tour. I'm a jewelry designer, so I've designed a piece to collaborate with um, the Tret Syndrome Association and anti-bullying. And yeah. And tell us what that piece looks like. Um, it's got a sterling silver TS on it, and there's actually five different correlation pieces, and they're all going to be in raising awareness and support. Okay. And you said that you're anti-bullying. Anti, um, um, did you have a real experience like that, or you just, oh, okay, very good. Yeah. Is that maybe what got you into acting? Yeah. Um, I overcame something called Tourette syndrome when I was younger, and so... I was bullied for that, um, but I'm just a big firm believer of kindness will get you far. Um, and so I've, I'm teaming up with the No Bull guys, who are big anti-bullying guys, and we're going to be presenters at the, inter at the first inaugural International Music Entertainment um, Awards. IMEA? Yeah, the IMEA Awards. That's just an acronym like everyone else. I was trying to remember exactly what it was. Um, yeah, so that's in November. Awesome. And what are you looking forward to next in terms of acting? Um, in terms of acting, I am working on an anti-bullying documentary at the moment called It Only Gets Better. And this one focuses more on the hope of kind of overcoming a disability and the challenges that come with it, along with, you know, rising above bullying and being an advocate. Okay. And who else might be in that with you? Um, Scott Hanna and the No Bull guys are going to be in it. 
um, and I'm actually going to be working on it when I go to New York. I'm going to be meeting with a uh, writer, so yeah. Awesome. Haley Group, thanks yes. for meeting with us. Thank you so much. It was so lovely to meet you. Awesome. Nice meeting you as well. Hi, Bailey. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. What brought you out tonight? Um, well, just to have fun and see all the cool stuff. Right. We all love makeup, correct? Oh, my gosh. I love makeup. What's your favorite color? Oh. Eyeshadow. Mm, I really like kind of nude colors, but it really depends on what I'm wearing. And um, how was it working on Cleveland, uh, hot, hot in Cleveland? Oh, my gosh. It was so fun. Everybody was so nice, and it was just like a really great time. And how long have you been acting? I've been acting since I was like two. <laughs> and what is your your most uh, desired role to play? Oh, um, I think just like whatever comes my way. I really like funny stuff, so maybe something funny. But I, I like everything, so. Definitely comedy? Yeah. Who was your, who's your favorite actor? Oh, God, that's a hard one. <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. I, they're just like, I don't know. We'll give you time for that one. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us, Bailey. Thank you. Tara, how are you tonight? Thank you for coming out. I'm awesome. How are you? I'm very good. What is your favorite part about makeup? Is it eyeshadow, lipstick, blush? I am like, I love lipstick and I love eyeliner. I like have, like right now I've got blue eyeliner on and I have the most awesome lipsticks. I've got like metallic pinks, blues. I've got so many different shades of lipstick. Awesome. And you came out tonight to help celebrate? The current Makeup Suite launch, which is awesome. Love makeup. Yes, don't we all? How about, how about fingernail polish? Nail polish is just as cool as you can see I actually have nail polish on my toes, which is awesome. Oh, awesome. Very good. Nice color. It actually matches your um, eyeliner. Are you actually your eyeshadow? Oh, no, that is your eyeliner. Eyeliner, yeah. <laughs> so tell us who your favorite actor is. My favorite um, actresses are Sarah Paxton and Hilary Duff. I think they're both amazing actresses, not to mention they were able to get through Hollywood as child actresses with their heads screwed on right, which I really admire. So. And what has your, been your favorite role so far? Favorite role that I've personally played, it would probably have to be um, in one of the films I've actually written and directed. I've actually written and directed five short films, which have been to over 100 film festivals, which is pretty cool. But my favorite role out of all the films I've been in would have to be um, Sibling Rivalry, where I played uh, Sybil. Oh, awesome. Now you said that you are, you've written how many? Five. I've written and directed five short films, which have been to over 100 film festivals. And out of those five, which one's your favorite? Out of all five, I would have to say Opera Hater is my favorite. We look forward to seeing that in one of the film festivals soon. Definitely. Awesome. It's playing film festivals, and you can actually find out information about where my films are playing, what film festivals, at frontporchfilm.com. Awesome. Thanks for speaking with us tonight. Enjoy. Enjoy yourself. And what we've showed you this evening is only a small part of the night's events and the attendees. Look for more images from this event as Newswire LA Extra segments on future broadcasts. That's it for all of us here at Newswire LA. We thank you for joining us. To follow everything Newswire LA, look us up on Facebook and Twitter at Newswire LA. That's it. This is Chin Thomas Sangsi saying so long, and we'll see you back here next time. Stay tuned for more news on this Westlake Signal Station.